Hey guys, and welcome to another channel teaching. I'm Marina Wells. If you're new, welcome, welcome. You know the drill. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. If anything, please uh, hit the like button. It really helps my channel to grow and helps other twin flames and high soulmate connections to hear these messages. Today, I'm going to be talking about, well, first, I'm really excited to tell you guys that I'm bringing back Zodiac readings. Um, Spirit has said that I've done enough of my dark night <laughs> healing and so I can get back on this. Um, and I know there was a break because, you know, I do my healing as much as you guys do. So just know that my channel is constantly ebbing and flowing and shifting based also on the process that Spirit puts me through. So I just want you guys to know that if you are here, I'm not a stagnant healer. <laughs> I'm a very much about expanding consciousness and bringing peace to the planet. So let's Let's get into it. Today I want to talk about, you know, human love, evolutionary love, twin flame love, high soulmate connection love, and how to honestly understand the difference. I wanted to bring also the mysticism up because a lot of people are getting really stuck in these labels and then attaching to mysticism at the same time. But I can really talk to the mysticism piece because it's actually how I've lived my entire life. If you are new to my channel, you guys, um, I will just come out and say this, that I have not lived or been conditioned in the same way that many people have on the planet with their mind patterns. I have been living from inside of spirit due to intense trauma and abuse throughout my life where I've actually had to vacate my body and be with spirit first before I could ever learn any type of mind patterns. And it's been in my gift to always see the truth of God, of the divine alignment. In saying that, not that not everybody else has that gift, but uh, I came very sensitive uh, to see that right from the start work to the point where my parents couldn't even take me out uh, in the world because I could see everybody's issues um, and where they were hurting themselves. And so I've been very deep into this type of work from since this incarnation. I did not have a massive awakening. I've been awakened this entire incarnation. So let's get started because I wanted to talk about the different types of relationships that are here on the planet and what happens with karma and what happens with the karmic partner specifically in regards to in a twin flame dynamic and what the twin flames are really here for. So you know, Spirit is saying everybody was created with a twin flame. Everybody has a divine counterpart. God is saying, you know, I would never make anybody without somebody who was meant for uh, the other person. And so Spirit wants me to bring up uh, first to explain about twin flames because there's a lot of misconceptions in regards to, you know, being whole. People think it's... Uh, uh, codependent and obsessive and toxic when it's actually the most divine love ever. Now that being said that everybody has a twin flame doesn't always necessarily mean is what I'm I'm feeling that the twin flames are yes probably most likely incarnated at this time. I'm not entirely sure spirit is saying there's other aspects where some may not be uh, incarnated at this time. But the ones that are meant to come into union have a very high calling. So again, this twin flame union is not about getting married, having children, uh, building a life. That's a very small piece of it spirit is bringing through. It's like 2% of what you're meant to do here. Twin flames are here as the new leaders to ground high, potent, very powerful energies and they're healing energies. These are energies that are meant to shift us out of the split that is currently happening, which I'm sure you're seeing people wanting to still follow the culture and the society that was created over the last 500 years that was built on the foundation of bloodshed, control, systemic racism, discrimination. There are people that still honor and want to live in that old vib lower vibration and that's completely fine not everybody is ready to move into the new earth now those that are ready to move into the new earth are doing their work you know i get all kinds of people that i coach with uh to ex help them expand their consciousness and to take them out of the duality thinking out of the mind first and deeply into the emotional realm and how to navigate the emotions your sensitivities because we're all born empathic every single person on this planet 
was born with the natural empathic abilities. It's how babies can connect with their mother. And so unless, um, you know, depending on how much trauma and the lineage that you came into, these gifts are completely stifened based on lots of many different factors, okay, based on the lineage that you picked, the trauma that you endured, and how much of your third eye and abilities and your awakening process that you've placed into your blueprint and your contract with the spirit, which is your faded path, right? Take a look and listen to like the destined path versus the faded path. They're two different things. Your blueprint is what you put in for your destined path. And your faded path only comes and un reveals itself, which is when you meet your twin, is what you have contracted with God, with spirit, which is something that it's very difficult to bypass once you've hit that doorway of the faded path opening up. Up until that point, you live a destined path where you have karmic partners, other soulmates, other types of interactions that get you refocused deeply into the faded path. Now, the faded path is a very difficult path to get into and Spirit's bringing all of this up because they're they're leading this up into what it means to be in relationship as well and what it means to be in union and what karma energies are and human love energies are versus spirit love. Spirit is bringing up that in order to move into the faded path, it's coming into a place that you're ready to live fully from the inside out, as opposed to from the outside in. When we live from the outside in, it's based on a, our conditionings, our mind patterns, uh, a state of what we believe, who we're meant to be with, any type of um, excuses that we still tell ourselves. Okay, and this is. Uh, where the majority of humanity is currently at. Those that have moved into the faded path have completely surrendered their entire life to God. And, and, and this is where we need to navigate the new age community because you guys need to take what resonates deep truth with you and where you're being pulled to and to understand your own empathic abilities. Remember, there is nobody, myself included, anybody else that you go to can really tell you what you need and what resonates for you. We've got to build up the mysticism and the third eye, the pineal gland, and reactivate your empathic abilities that you were born with. And so spirit is bringing this up because when you're moving into the faded path, once you move into the faded path, that means you have completely surrendered your life. Your life will be broken down at this point. Um, for me, you know, it was leaving my six figure government job uh, that had all the benefits, selling my house, moving, downgrading, doing this path. Um, and surrendering a lot of my own desires to spirit, whereas, you know, I realize maybe my choices and based on my conditioning and my small mind ego don't necessarily know the desk, the faded path that God is trying to lead me on. And now spirit will bring into this faded path different types of contrast to get you even more focused. And we're going to get into that. Okay. So when you're fully into your faded path fully and and honestly you guys i maybe just cracked the door open to this okay um and it doesn't matter how many abilities you have or how many followers you have it's like when you start to come into this place of the faded path it's going to ask you to continuously surrender you will be in a complete state every millisecond of the day surrendering your life on the faded path if you're not completely surrendering every single day okay um like for instance i woke up this morning I had to create a, a bunch of social media. I'm doing the Zodiac readings. I have clients tomorrow. I have a sink full of dishes. I've got lunches to make for kids. I'm so just right to my wits end because, you know, I have everything happening. Whereas in my destined path, you know, I may have tried to take control of that in my mind and do things. But when you're in a faded path, you have to listen to the messages of spirit first. So spirit was like, no, Rena, create your content first before you had tackle those dishes. And I'm like, oh my God, seriously, my mind wants to do the dishes because in my mind, I think if I have a clean home, I can focus better. And spirit's like, nah, 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 the intuition's coming in now, follow me. 
So this is the difference if when you're following spirit and following those intuitive hits and putting that rational mind aside completely, completely and surrendering it and allowing spirit to come in and do the work for you. That's when we get inspired action. That's when we start creating. So let's get into karmic situations and different type of soulmate connections spirits bringing through that they want to talk about the destined path and again i'll link the video down below if um you're confused about the destined path and the faded path but it was a channel teaching that i did i can't remember it was last week or the week before but it was the most recent one or two back okay so spirits bringing through let's start with uh, soulmates. Thank you. Spirit wants to start when, you know, you go through your teenage years and your soulmates and you start dating. This isn't necessarily the karma hasn't quite started yet. Spirit gives you, oh, this is interesting. I didn't know this. Spirit gives you a little bit of testing to get you, you know, activated into the grid work of society, into what humans teach you what relationships are like based on physical stimulus, based on mental stimulus, based on, you know, the exterior first. And yes, there is intimacy that you can build with a person in that way way. All right. But remember, it is from the outside in. It is harder to build from the outside in. It is harder to build a soul connection if you are sexually attracted first to somebody, if you are emotionally attracted to somebody, or if you are mentally and intellectually connected to somebody. And this is where the most of humanity sits right now, because they look at, uh, they're even bringing up, spirit is bringing up, even if we look at the charts and we look at the astrology and we try to bring, you know, where we go to the church and, you know, we do uh, parenting or marriage counseling with the, with the priest or spirit is saying all of that is again from the outside in. This is where humans have been conditioned into looking for, for love. And because humanity has had such a difficult time with this, uh, people believe, call sacred, call these relationships like sacred union. Um, I see people, uh, and, and I'm going to be honest, like even twin flames don't usually come into union until they've had a certain amount of life experience as well. Okay. I don't believe younger twin flames come together. You need life experience as well. So we're going to, we're going to go into that as well. And I hate to say that to people, but I'm sorry, Jesus did not hit enlightenment until he was in his forties. Okay. Um, no one's going to bypass Jesus. Okay. I'm sorry about it. Or Buddha, you need life experience before you can come into union. Okay. Um, with your twin. And we're gonna and this is why spirits take me back and through the timeline of what these soul connections are all about. And so we get very conditioned first off with our parents of what relationships are like, we then get conditioned by society, we then get conditioned by the media. And we're told, you know, physical beauty or a body or intellect, all of these things is what creates attraction. I've even watched tarot readers say, oh, the, the attraction. No, it's not real, you guys. This is not how spirit works, okay? Remember, your 3D world is, it is uh, they're showing me, you know, an eyeball. You know, if you look at an eye and the image in the retina at the back of the eye is the reversed image of what you're seeing, right? It flips so that the brain can read it. Now, Spirit's bringing this up because everything in your physical world is the complete opposite of what true divine love is. And so I have used the physical world this way because I have been living from the inside out my entire life. And so because when you live from the inside out, you actually see the falsehoods of what's happening in the physical world because you know divine truth. Now, a lot of people majority of humanity and and i only say the only reason i have this gift is because of the amount of trauma that i went through so people that have been traumatized yes you can have trauma bonds but this is why you work with me so that we can distinguish what's codependent energy and what's true love energy and to get you deeper into your sensitivity but darkness will always break you open to the depths. And so the more darkness that you have healed, the higher your connection is going to be. We did not come here. We are all enlightened beings, but we did not come here. Um, you know, we didn't rise here. We fell in consciousness here and we continue to fall. And the deeper that we go into the darkness, the more enlightenment we're going to gain. 
uh, you know, Jesus was thrown on the cross. And I'm just bringing these things up, you know, um, Buddha had a very difficult lifetime until, you know, he was even killed with a mushroom. So, you know, you have to go dark in order to get light. There's just no other way about it. So let's get into this with this, uh, this inside, this outside inside thing that spirit is talking about. So spirit is bringing up, you know, the retina. So if we continue to live if from our 3D experience, right, we are not seeing the inner image of what the consciousness sees. And in the retina, it's a reversed image. It's upside down, right? We interpret those things backwards in spirit. Whew. Okay, so this is going to be a little bigger. So spirit wants me to get into karma, okay? So when we meet soul connections, if we are having these physical experiences we then mistake these things for soul connections and spirit wants to bring up what karma is okay karma is just law of attraction it's just the new age you know dogma that of law of attraction that's taken over what actual karma is karma passes through all timelines whatever energy you put out it comes back to you and so it's not necessarily karma debt that you're paying and this is why past lives are very important. Uh, excuse me, I'm not opening up past life readings yet, but I'm, I'm getting a message that I may have to do that again. Uh, the past lives are very tangible, and the only reason they show up in this life is based on the law of attraction, is what I'm going to call it, is because there are energies that you have not been able to completely clear on your soul's evolution process and your purification process of your soul. And so it's not debt that you're paying, it is the energy that you put out eons ago that you have not been able to reconcile in other lifetimes. And so when a karmic meets your twin flame, okay? and the twin your twin flame meets a karmic partner there is a soul connection but the soul connection is based on the karma the law of attraction that is pulling you to work through those things before you can come into union with your divine counterpart now the love with twin flames is completely different it's not um uh, okay spirit says we're going to get into that we're going to keep up with the with the karmic so spirit is saying here are the different relationships so the karmic energies come when you are completely ready to level up they are a stepping stone partner okay so up until this point spirit has given you soulmates you may have been in a marriage to a soulmate before that you have dated in high school you may have met a soulmate you know there's based on the exterior gratifications of what we are conditioned okay my husband included we had a lot of similarities we listened to the same music we hung out in the same groups we liked the same things you know and that was great for you know in my early 20s when i got married and did that whole bit spirit is saying these soulmates you know come with also some karma but the karmic uh law of attraction piece that of lessons that you have to learn aren't necessarily as uh intense okay they can be grueling they can be difficult you're ending a relationship a long-term connection with somebody it's grueling because of the foundation and the security that you've built up with this person right other soulmates it's it's grueling it's hard to break up there's hurt but usually you are able to come to a certain point of understanding now with karmic energies it's very quick and very intense and very fiery and very passionate it's very different not to say that you can't have that with a soulmate but the intensity level is like next level where a lot of people confuse this for a sacred connection okay now the difference between okay spirit doesn't want me to get into the difference it is different than a twin flame yes the intensity is huge with a twin flame but it is not regular zaza zing get in your you know sexual organs all stimulated and feeling good it's not that's not what it is at all with the twin flame what it is is like the depth that you feel in regards to you know when you watch a baby laugh i just just i just challenge you just go look google you know a baby's belly laugh 
and how good that feels deep in your gut you know it's like that deep knowing of that happiness and joyfulness that fills your being so peaceful and with bliss and loving and loving connection and you know admiration and deep deep love but this is where people get confused in our world because they've been living from the outside in they get stuck in these karmic situations mainly because it looks so good on the outside you guys right karmics um yeah thank you spirit is saying the reason why karmic partners come into with the twin flame is because these karmics are being leveled up for their person okay might be a twin flame or might be a high level soulmate connection but there's a massive amount of darkness that these karmic energies and some of them are very intuitive and psychic as well but they don't know how to work in energy properly we're going to say that okay they they work in the darker forces they think what they're doing even if they're setting intention is good but they don't realize how deep in the darkness they really are that what they put out actually creates more havoc and it's meant for that for this reason um, because everyone's on a different growth but a lot of these karmic uh, energies have been tied to the twin flame person in many lifetimes have done curses and spells and all kinds of different things to keep this person usually because it's of an exterior gratification the person has a foundation the person has a look the person has you know qualities and things you know they like the same music they can you know cook together they get along it's like fun it's the sex is good again it's all of those exterior gratifications now to for the karmic energy to realize uh, they have to go through this intensity because the light of the twin flame is so potent twin flames that are meant to come into union in this lifetime have angelic energy they're soft they have a level of purity they have a level of mysticism they have a connection to source and I can attest to this that and I'm not saying this out of ego, you guys. I have never been broken up with. I've never been rejected by anyone until my twin flame broke up with her. Basically dumped me. I was like, what? Nobody dumps Rena. What is this? I've never had rejection. Um, and the reason for that is because I always chose partners that I knew that I could control and energetically. Now, uh, granted, that didn't always work for me but it kept things very complacent and happy that I was still able to hide certain pieces of myself and still have control of my environment, right? This is what highly evolved souls do. So if you're listening to this, you need to go back and look at where you've also manipulated your relationships to get very honest with yourself because if you are meant to come into union with your twin flame you are a very old ancient soul with a lot of wisdom and you kind of know what you're doing but you're not saying what you're doing or you're not ready to look at what you're doing <laughs> but it will come up it will come up and you will start to recognize that and so when you come into a uh, connection with your twin right it causes a catastrophic collision of energies of pure divine love that basically takes down all the energies around you everyone will feel it uh and it starts to solidify and come into the energy body and creates the activation that's the first part of the twin flame journey all right the second part is the separation piece and the separation is so needed you guys that type of potency to bring that down into the earth is has not been seen on this planet for a very long time and so the karmic partner is so drawn to the twin flame it's because of this angelic ancient wisdom that the karmic is so dark has not been able to access that level of awakening spirit has says for eons because they continuously have been making excuses and not wanting to really dive deep into their darkness or wanting to look that they aren't a kind person or they're not really nice or they are manipulating the situation or they're not being altruistically authentic because i'm going to tell you guys to get on the spiritual path you have to be so altruistically authentic with yourself it's not easy because you're gonna have to like look at stuff that you do like you know i've had to recently look at stuff with my daughter you know and oh my god and that's so hard and old issues with you know 
patterns with my own mom and myself and it's like oh my god I'm repeating a pattern I need to get very honest with myself you know this is a continuous thing not to shame ourselves for right we all mess up we're meant to mess up that's part of the process just accept it for what it is right but karmic energies really have to keep a persona they really got to keep up you know i am a good person i am this i you know instead of really taking ownership of their responsibility of what they have done to the twin flame to keep separation in in a stagnant place right how they've tried to manipulate it because they wanted that twin so much right because it was the driving force that they needed that could actually break them open so you see your twin came to be with that karmic not just to you know it's not about living a life and doing all this oh we're gonna be married and have children eh, it's not about that right this is about conscious evolution and so your twin needed to go through those layers to get very deep to break the psyche from living from the outside in into knowing the deep connection to the feminine or the masculine on the inside and living from the inside out and in order to do that it's a layered effect right your twin has to fall in consciousness and can't do that with your twin you can't fall in consciousness with your twin or you both end up lost in the darkness and spirit would never allow both twins to be mirroring so closely that they end up enabling each other falling deep into the darkness right there has to be one twin that has a high potency of energy that's able to ground which is usually the feminine energy who's usually who's able to be soft in their feminine and receiving and grounding and opening up the newer vibrations so that it pulls the other twin up and the other twin the matrix the one that's uh not holding that piece down they are able to maneuver in the physical world they've built up their physical world a lot more than what the intuitive twin has done right and that's because then they're able to when they come into union they're able to support and bring in the the intuitive twin and it's like the colliding of the two minds right it's the physical with the intuitive piece that's the wholeness that comes back together uh and so with the karmic energies the twin that is with the karmic energies are learning that they are now breaking down the psyche from living from the outside in they will find okay yeah i'm sexually attracted to this person oh my god the sex is hot the sex is hot but no matter how much they keep trying and trying to bring the physical to get deep to get deep remember this is the slow process your twin flame is not going to be able to live this way because they've already been catalyzed and so we have to allow the separation allow our twins to go through this process uh mainly because yeah it's just not going to work any other way the, the separation is really truly a gift and so as they're they're breaking through those patterns these twins are doing their work okay i don't work with twin flames and i don't listen I, i'm not even going to say this if your twin is not doing their conscious work it's not your twin flame i'm going to be honest if your twin is sitting there twiddling their thumbs and living and doing whatever that's not your twin your twin will expand their consciousness at all costs they will not let their soul evolution and their path and their journey go to waste they will not that's the sacredness of twin flames if your person and you think that this is a twin flame connection and they're just sitting there not doing anything and you're the awakened one that's not a thing both twins awaken at the same time they completely are aware of the connection they know the label twin flame they know who they are to you they are completely aware completely aware that something is happening they may not know like oh this is a twin flame but they know they know that you are their person so i uh, this whole stuff with people saying like oh but they're not awakened and i'm awakened bullshit it's not your twin not your twin god would never do that god brings the twins together when they have a massive mission to complete on the planet okay a healing journey a healing mission so this whole aspect now okay of the karmic energies right 
this karmic continuously tries all the tactics to keep this twin because that light energy is a remembrance of a piece of themselves that they have lost eons ago now the deeper that these two go together right they will heal they will try to bring in the spiritual stuff they'll meditate together they will everything it will they will try to mimic the twin will try to mimic what they have and what they feel for their real twin okay they will keep trying because they're building this foundation with the karmic they're trying to get deep they're trying to get deep it will backfire you guys <laughs> it will it just will you know um it might happen in this life it might not but they will never be able to get that depth with anybody else but their twin right because god created you together and so the karmic energies when they start losing that connection because it was never felt it was never meant to be a long-term thing uh it's starting to help them awaken themselves and if the karmic chooses they can start to heal as well but that means that that karmic energy and this is where it depends on everyone's journey will have to completely come into a place of looking at themselves in the mirror and the lies that they tell themselves when they look in the mirror and the defeatedness of where their egos have been trying to keep them in a place of righteousness and to claim that they know exactly what's going on and that they are the wisdom keepers that's not true that's not true at all uh, karmic energies will not be able to build their mission okay they won't have the drive to completely uh yeah <laughs> thank you spirit spirits like saying these karmic energies are very well kept women or men okay they're well kept they have a laziness and spirit is saying it mimics that with the twin flame okay because the twin flame usually runs from the other counterpart because they can see how much hard work it's gonna take now i'm gonna tell you nothing in this life and this is an old guy and he's saying that my family says in the caribbean nothing is free you know everything takes hard work you just nothing's gonna come on a silver platter to you guys including true love it's just not gonna be a thing that oh i can you know we have all the physical attributes we can mentally connect we can physically connect yes that works for certain soulmates at a certain place in their evolutionary process it will not work for a real twin flame and it will not work for the karmic energies thank you spirit is saying these karmic energies have a high divine soulmate that they're coming into contact with but this is where they have not faced themselves for eons and why it's so painful but a lot of the karmic energies then take this pain for love remember love is not painful it's not painful love is beautiful the purity of love comes in and it completely eradicates all of the old belief systems that you've had that's what's painful and so a lot of karmic energies what they have misidentified as love is now breaking is believing that that's still love where it never was love to begin with it was a falsehood of love that they have been living their lives in this incarnation and many incarnations of their belief system of what love is well if i just you know maybe if i get a boob job or maybe if i like diet or maybe if i act this way maybe if i like become a yoga teacher or maybe if i become a tarot reader and maybe if i just act and do these things and put the action in and listen to the music and learn to do all of this stuff then maybe i'll be able to keep the twin maybe i'll be able to keep my person this is how the karmic partner thinks spirit is saying it never works it never works because the activations already happen with the twin they will already know they've already experienced the beauty of the twin flame connection spirit's bringing this up you know when my twin hugged me it activated my musical gifts immediately was able to express his soul and that's what feminines do they're able to receive the masculine in such a potent way that they become that divine expression in the emotional capacity and in the creative capacity for the masculine energy they become a complete conduit of the energies for the masculine self where you know masculines have a hard time talking about their feelings <laughs> uh and this is where twin flame union comes in you don't need to talk about it that much you can feel it sorted out 
right the feminine will get it and so will the masculine will get it there there doesn't have to be this long-winded conversations of okay and this is what this is what you know your why twin flames are in karmic situations because they have to learn how to work in the old paradigm of relationships like okay let's sit down and put all the facts on the table not to say that you can't do this with your twin because you do but there's another piece that comes with your twin when you come into union okay with the karmic partners it's like okay here are all the facts let's put a plan in place let's compromise if i do this then you can do this and they try to rationalize <laughs> i'm shooting a laugh but it's actually quite funny because um you know we've all been there i've outgrown this i've i've outgrown this like i i i've had like high level soulmates and i've and i've even like recently put myself out there to be like let's see if someone can meet me there no can't do it bye it becomes an immediate like no um i want my sacred union or i would rather just you know uh allow spirit to bring me a high level soulmate if that's meant and just remain open right this is the piece of uh allowing this is when you move into the faded connection with god that you are okay with however sh things show up in your life and you're accepting of it that's what happens on the other end but what happens with the karmic and the twin flame they continuously trying and trying and trying to break this and create something and compromise and say okay this is how it's going to work now this is what's going to happen let's do it and how what does it last maybe like a week maybe a month max and then you're back at square one it continues to reiterate because the energies are completely misaligned you can't dig down to the roots of the subconscious patterns with the wrong tools you know the karmic energies only have a small little hammer you know <laughs> they're showing me the shawshank redemption you know with that little nub you know that hammer that little hammer that he was digging at that wall that's the tool that a, that a karmic partner has for the twin flame it's like which is and it may work at first like oh yeah this is good we're working out. okay that wall's chipping away it's chipping away but it becomes tiresome it becomes boredom it becomes painful it becomes monotonous it takes years right that's what happens that's when the twin who's in the karmic connection realizes i would have this would have never happened with my twin we would have grown super fast we would have healed we would have felt it because the unity of the energies when one twin flames it takes you to the depth of the subconscious where you meet excuse me where you meet god is where you meet your twin this is why i would never work with the karmic energies because the deeper that you heal right the more that you will find your person on the inside and so this is this is another reason why i walked away i was like yeah 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 go do that go do that because i know you're still gonna drink ayahuasca and i know you're still gonna do your conscious healing but i know that there will become a time when the when the twin heals enough that they will realize what the hell they figured that they could make something and manifest something from the human mind to mimic and be complacent or to be okay without their twin right it will never never work because remember the foundations that were built out of ego the fall of babel the lightning the tower card the awakening will always happen and when god knows and spirit knows that it's time boom that shit's gonna come down it's gonna come right down it's gonna be an awakening for both but again that is its own container in itself and when the separation is happening you know if you feel the need to reach or you feel the need you know there's been certain points where spirit is like you need to contact him just send him a little thing because i could feel the disarray and the sadness and the depression of everything and spirits like just give him a little hope and send him a message so then i would and then i sent him a message uh that was my final done like i said everything that i needed to move on to the new vibration i knew that me opening the new vibration would cause a massive shift and so what's happening here spirit wants you to really realize that whatever you're pulled do it without expectation you know do it in the light of spirit 
guiding you and you will know you'll not have to rationalize it or think oh should I do this should I not do this when we keep going back and forth in our head you know that that's the human stuff that's trying to guide you right when you get a deep knowing and you're meditating you're doing your spiritual work spirit is able to come in with that soft whisper and guide you more more you'll get synchronicities and this is what happens with the karmic and the twin your person will get synchronicities music visions dreams all kinds of stuff because spirit is really trying to show them you've hit a place in consciousness now that you can no longer live from the outside in and when that point hits is when the twin will end it with karmic and come back into sacred union now to get into sacred union spirit has brought this through is that the meeting and the understanding happens from the depth it's being able to hold a sustainable uh what is that word spirit homeostasis within ourselves grounding the twin flame energy so spirits are now going to bring it into what union looks like okay so these are the different connections and what's happening here right so we have soulmates that get you you know reiterated and what you desire and and building and and life experience and this is why i'm saying you have to go through various soulmates to learn and grow in the 3d world you're not going to know how to run a family until you get married and get kids doesn't mean it's going to be with your twin flame either because that's not the purpose of twin flames okay twin flames are here to build a new earth end of story i'm sorry i i'm really bringing some truth down here you guys because it's not about people are saying the twin flame journey is like oh you just have to be in union and share your love and that heals the world no fuck that shit i'm sorry i'm gonna swear here that's bullshit <laughs> like, that's just not a thing um you have work to do here on the planet okay um you are to create a platform you are to heal the planet you are to create peace it's not just about i'm married i'm married to my twin and i'm building a life and that's enough it's not enough it's not enough there's a mission so if you're living in that that's not your twin that's not your twin twins have a specific mission that does not get revealed until you come into activation with your twin if you have not been downloaded with your mission i would question if that is your twin remember dark energies mimic twin flame energies okay there is a mimicking until you're able to work through and get into a place of deep into your gut, into your pelvic floor, into your intuition, into your empathic abilities, and that you've healed and expanded to the point of a level of consciousness that you are able to meet God deep within yourselves. You're following what God is telling you, what spirit is telling you. You're integrating it. You're allowing it. You're not controlling it. And you're sitting in that place okay that's when you meet your twin that's where you meet your twin and that's where union starts to come in because we thank you that's the space that you know divine feminine divine masculine whoever's awakened first or whoever is doing the calling mostly it's the divine feminine but there are some masculines that i know that are doing that you have to build the calling you've got to sit authentically with your relationship with with spirit that nothing comes in between you and your relationship with spirit ever ever and you're keeping your vibration vibration pure and it is to remain in that space so that the other twin who uh, you know who has been working more in the 3d sense and working from the outside in can then come and meet you as they're chipping away and they're gaining consciousness Whereas remember as you gain more awareness and you're rising in conscious you're falling deeper into your body deeper into the pelvic floor deeper into your intuition deeper into your gut knowing and your instincts instincts and your empathic abilities and the more that you keep doing that you will eventually meet your twin in that depth and be able to create energies with god in that depth nobody else can meet you there right again if you are doing your work while you're in separation your twin will do their work if you are not feeling that the connection energetically is expanding you will feel it with your twin you will know what's going on with them you'll know when they're stuck I've had telepathic conversations with my with my divine masculine. I'm like, seriously, like, <laughs> 
<laughs> like I could hear, I, it's like, ugh, what do you want? You know, I'm like, uh, I was out shopping the other day and, and he f- could feel something shift in my routine and I could feel the energy. It's like, what are you doing? Are you going on a date? What are you doing? It's like, why are you on me all of a sudden? It's like, go away. <laughs> why are you? Yeah, I got dressed up and I'm out because, you know, I put on some makeup to go to the grocery store. Like, it's like it becomes that fine tune, you guys, that you start to feel them on a very visceral level. And to get to that point takes a tremendous amount of healing. And again, spirit would not bring twins if that depth within self to become whole, to follow God and not the mind, then it's not your twin. It is not your twin, okay? Your person will do the, will heal just as much as you. Twins do not come in the midst of darkness. It is the darkness that matches you with false twins. I see all kinds of different people saying, oh, and I know I've had the same experience as you. This is what I'm having, Rena. My experience is going to be completely different than everybody else's. I'm going to tell you this. When you hit the faded path with God, when you have hit a place that you know that you have to give up everything that you believe is your safety and comfort and allow God to take that to build something in divine love in divine foundation in divine alignment and truth okay you would have already reached a place of massive healing your darkness already to that point if you have not hit that point then you have not met your twin and I, and I and I hate to say that but we need to bring some real truth down here because uh I see how many people are suffering and there's no shame in that you guys I have been with so many partners who are like it's my twin flame it's my twin flame it's my twin flame <laughs> it's like no and I have been manipulated by darker forces telling me my twin was a woman telling me that I was gay telling me you know these things that when we open up and we and we open up to energies you can only speak to entities and vibrations based on how much you have healed within yourself if you still have darkness within you if you still have anxiety anxieties if you're still having depression if you're still having these issues okay that energy when you open is going to be energies that you connect to at a higher place now not to say okay not all the time that you can't get clear messages from god god will always meet you spirit will always bring in the light but we have to have a very discerned energy of not to cling and hang on to messages so when you're listening to my tarot readings take everything with a grain of salt because again it unless you do a personal coaching session with me that will be direct messages that that are very truthful and they will resonate for you and they will definitely come through but when you're watching anything online and you know you have to take things with a grain of salt and not attach that oh yeah that message it has all the synchronicities that message is for me you have to still learn to let go remember this path of conscious expansion is a consistent place of surrender not clinging allowing moving healing grieving purging it's hard (laughs) the healing path is hard it's so hard Um, it's not easy okay guys and that's why i'm here for you so I wanted to bring that through in regards to, you know, what the karmic energies are like and what uh, the twin flame and what soulmate connections are like. So let's get into the spirit wants me to bring up between, you know, the karmic and the, the uh, who's with your person and the karmic's energy and the divine feminine's energy. OK, if you're if you're listening to this, most of my viewers are feminines. So if your masculine is with another person or vice versa, if you're masculine listening to this and your feminine is with somebody else, whoever is listening to this, your relationship to the karmic does not need to be our relationship either. OK, that vibration is very low. You have already healed everything that the karmic has not healed okay uh if you're listening to this so spirit wants you to recognize that setting very healthy boundaries when you are uh communicating with your twin or in um 
yeah, they're bringing up like the example, like of what happened with me. I knew vision wise, I was given the path. I was given that I had to do the twin flame journey on my YouTube. I was given that I had to talk about divine partnerships. Relationships has been in my life my entire life. I've been healing it because my North Node is in Libra. So I'm all about relationships and love and connections. And that has been my thing my whole life. Um, so this is not new. Relationship stuff is not new for me. I'm um, but the, now the twin flame journey is because I met my twin th almost two, uh, two and a half years ago. So this is about yin yang balance and, and all of those things. And so spirit is saying that there are certain things that attract your twin into the karmic energies. Uh, first off, spirit is saying that the, the, the your twin is unable to discern energy properly and so the emotional world is very confusing that they were unable uh to decipher what was mental attraction sexual attraction soul attraction okay it was all combobulated into this like big ooze of a mess and so spirit wanted me to say this so the reason why a lot of twins go into separation is because of the discernment aspect to know what energies are what right it can be very confusing. And so when spirit, it was during ayahuasca, gave me the mission, gave me everything. I've given, been given so many um, high level visions of, of how this is supposed to be. Excuse me, including this channel um, in regards to, you know, how to move forward with the twin flame journey and yin and yang and balance and all of that. Um, I was also told that uh, I had a vision with the karmic, like, do not play into that because my twin was siphoning a lot of uh, feeling uh, the connection with me and him, but not knowing it was me and him and the karmic was siphoning that and taking that and 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 so it became too mix match. So the reason separation comes into play and why you have to stand very strong in your authenticity is to know uh what vibrations as divine feminines of what is happening in your environment and to keep that completely pure you know i've had high level soulmates that came up that took up all my time away from me and it's like no people just want my energy you can go away like <laughs> if you're not willing to uh meet me in the, a deep place then you just obviously want my energy for something else so go away um you have to be strict like that okay uh, because this is a sacred, uh, your energy becomes very sacred as a divine feminine. You hit other levels of sensitivities that it becomes very difficult to work a regular job. Okay. I, I can't go back to government and become a project manager and a business analyst. Screw that. There's no way my brain capacity could handle that. Not that I couldn't do it because I have done it. But remember, you become more sensitive and much more uh, in tune to the energies that you've gained that discernment piece that you know um what is right for you now spirit is saying the karmic energies mimic are a are they're also intuitive they're able to feel what your twin likes and tries to mimic and create that in their life but it's unsustainable okay so where your twin was pulled to the karmic energies again was from the outside in there were certain similarities that uh you know both uh people may have had similar energy similarities but it was a very surface level okay so spirit wants you to recognize that the separation has to happen with twins so that the one that is fully awakened mostly the divine feminine is able to create such a pure vibration okay and that's magnetizing and to heal to be able to come in with spirit and union okay so that when the other twin is ready they will hit a place as they're healing they will hit a place of conscious awareness they will be able to god will then bring the union back together so spirit wanted to bring that up so that you can also thank you spirit wants you to look at the karmic energies and realize you know what that there are certain similarities that you know maybe that was me in another life or that was me early on in my life you know um whatever else it's a very service thing that spirit is saying that you can come into a place of forgiveness to allow that karmic energy to heal and move the hell on on their way like seriously they have a person too you know it's like 
pray for them. Spirit, bring them their real person. Bring them their real person. Allow them, instead of putting out that energy of like, screw off and go away. It's so that they can come at to, into peace and really start looking at themselves. Because remember, they picked your twin for that light code in order for them to actually start facing themselves. Really and truly, right? Because these karmics do not want to admit that, that they have done bad things to people and, and haven't been nice to people. They want to upkeep a persona that they're these angelic beings, but they're really not. They're really not. They have a lot of darkness that they've been stuffing for eons, right? Which is not what, uh, if you're listening to this, you know, you have come into a place where you're ready for union and mission and all of that, that you've been healing. Now, high level soulmate connections. Let's talk about that. You don't necessarily need to be in a twin flame union. Remember, twin flames only come together when their mission is here to bring peace on the planet okay it means that you have a big following it's not um <laughs> like i know for me and me and my twin it's uh it's ayahuasca we're shamans we're healers you know that never goes away uh i've even contemplated leaving my path with ayahuasca and being with some you know dating and whatever else the medicine pulls me back <laughs> every time i can't help it i can't help it I have an amazing ability to translate con plant consciousness through my human form. It's just something that I, I'm good at. So spirit wants you to realize that when you are fully ready to be in twin flame union, it will be a big calling. Not everybody can be a leader, guys. It takes a huge amount of work, a huge amount of responsibility. Okay, like I have had to heal being raped, kidnapped, uh, incest, abuse, beaten up, emotionally abused, every single friggin' abuse. And people are like, I wish I could. Be. I've had people, and I've said this before, you know, oh, I want to be a psychic as you are. Like, do you? Do you? I want to be special. I'm not special, you guys. I walk through shit. <laughs> like, this is what I'm talking about. It's like, nah. Uh, you know, I've had a shaman when I did ayahuasca. And she's like, how do you get way up there? She works in complete darkness. I've seen her guides, but it's jealousy. It's like, no, do you really want this? So just realize you guys, if you're on the twin plane path, you have been burnt up your ass. Like seriously. Okay. That's the reality of twin flame connections. You have been prepared your entire life. You have been traumatized. You have gone through crap. You have had emotional, mental, physical rape, all kinds of abuse. Okay. Yes. For you to come into your twin flame union, one of the twin, at least one of the twins has had to walk through that darkness in order to gain a high connection. No other qualms about it. Okay. And if the other person, um, usually one has it more than the others. I think I, I don't know. My twin and I are pretty on par. I think with the abuse that we've gone through. That is a marker of real healers. You cannot heal the planet unless you know what you're going up against, right? Okay, high level soulmates are the next one. Remember, not all twin flames are gonna come into union in this lifetime. They can only come into union when God brings it together and when the healing mission is going to affect thousands and thousands of people, okay? And to build new communities because that's what the new earth is about that's a split that's happening in consciousness right now high level soulmates if you are not to be in a twin flame union in this life right now right i don't know it could happen 10 years from now i don't know right but you know best right and you are here and i and i'm working with clients who have high level soulmates right now um and a lot of people are very disappointed when they hear they don't have a twin flame forget that that's just your ego Nobody really wants a twin flame. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Do you really want to go through that purification process? That's what I'm talking about. Everyone has romanticized this twin flame thing. Guys, it's not easy. It is the hardest path you will ever walk. The awakening with my twin flame was harder than any friggin' abuse I ever went through. That kind of clearing and that healing, I'm telling you, you guys. Okay? It's brunt work. So forget about the twin flame thing. If you have a high level soulmate connection, I congratulate you. I wish I was you. Amazing. Amazing ball. Seriously. Your high level soulmate connection, you will be able to have the things that you did not have. Not that you haven't had that with your twin flame. 
granted, Spirit is bringing through. When you come into Twin Flame Unit, it is hard work right from the start. It's about getting the mission off the ground. It is work, 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 work. Okay, it's not about bliss and like, oh, I'm so in love with you. Let's like raise our family together. This is so, no, it's hard work, right? Twins get a little bit of a break before they come into union because they know it's going to be hard ass work. All right, you've been prepared. Now, high level soulmates don't have work like that. Not that kind of brunt work, okay, guys? It means that you've healed to a certain place that you're able to come in and build a nice life together. You're still somewhat living in the system a bit. You're not the, the trailblazers to build this brand new community. You are the supporters of the ones that are that, that have done the brunt work, okay? And the leaders need you guys. You, these high-level soulmate connections are so needed because they are what balances the energy. They are the bridge. They are the energies that help the lower vibrations, people that are completely my mic stopped. I don't know what happened. The recording stopped. But the 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 soul connections, the high level soul connections, are the bridge. They are the ones that are going to ease people to come into, okay, their uh, into their soul path, into their journey, into their healing mission. Okay, it is the twins that are the trailblazers that are building the new communities, and then it is the high level soulmate connections that come in to support that energy that hold that as a container to help leverage the twins up as they continue to move forward and this is what we need okay guys so again the twin flame do not romanticize that do not listen if i if i did not have to go through all that stuff i would have picked a high level soulmate in this life but that's not my path obviously um i've been trained my whole life to get here to help you guys to realize that if you have a high level soulmate, it will be beautiful. You guys will come into a place of, you know, um, kindred spirits, you know, of being able to work. You don't have to go to a state of consciousness, for instance, into really, really, really dark places. That's probably just not your path in this life. That's fine. Not everybody can walk through these dense, 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 dark energies. We need everybody at certain places. And so if you are in a high level soulmate connection, right, it can mimic twin flame. But the difference is, thank you, thank you. Spirit is saying the difference, the difference is, yeah, just give me a second. They're saying it's not as catastrophic, <laughs> right? Okay, right. Okay, they're bringing up the instance when you meet. Okay, so they're saying between high level soulmate connections and twin flame, here's the difference. When you meet your twin flame is completely catastrophic when you first meet, when you first merge. It's completely catastrophic. Your mind doesn't know what you're thinking. It's like, what the hell is this? Like next level. You know it's next level, right? It completely broke you, right? High level soulmates, it feels you know, um, not easy, but there's a connection. Thank you. Spirit is saying there's a friendly batter that happened banter, a friendly banter that happens. It's not like the karmic where it's lustful and it's like, oh, it pulls you so like that intensity, but there's like a, a nice banter between the two. It's a high level soulmate. You can go deep with each other. You can talk, you could be open, you could be authentic. It's really beautiful. It's really nice. Um, it is a slower moving pace, but you're able to be in that place and um, share those things with each other and have long conversations and talk for hours on end and to build that up over time. Now, depending where you are in your journey and some twins meet high level soul connections, you can choose to be in that, right? But again, it means if that person can meet you in that depth. If they can't and you are a twin, um, it may just get you refocus a high level soulmate to get you refocused back on your twin flame journey. Now, and this isn't to say that you say no to relationships that come you guys. This is about being open to relationships and love that come to you because it's a learning process. It's a it's a uh, understanding the contrast of your own darkness and it's wherever spirit is trying to guide you towards a person that is really really truly meant for you high level soul connection or uh, twin flame 
And so spirit wants to bring this up that with your high level soulmate connection, it's like everything is just, it's really nice. It eases. But then again, people are confusing this for a divine union. It's not a divine union. It's a mix. It's a bridge between complimenting each other, a lot of love, being able to work together. Thank you. And they're bridging like the older consciousness, people that are unconscious and moving them into a sacred connection with somebody. Healing other family dynamics. Thank you, spirit. And pushing people into a deeper place uh, where they may be possibly able to heal to meet a twin in another life or maybe even in this life, depending on what the path is. But it is to move them into divine love, which what the twins have gone through. And the reason why twins have had to go through the brunt work is because you have to break the layers in this state of consciousness, in society, in our civilization, into the earth's grid work. You have to go through that in order to claim your twin flame union because you're creating the direct pathway, right? You got a picture as like as a beam of light that's coming from the heavens. There's a dense black fog that happens on the planet. You have to break through all of that in order to ground that into the earth. That's a twin flame connection, okay? And that's the difference. And so these high level soulmates are the bridge between those two different worlds between unconscious and divine love, but it's not a divine union. It is a mix match of a, of a soul connection that you've traveled with many times. And it's also a uh, romantic and a very, you know, uh, easier place so that you can actually learn more about yourself, right? Twin flames are not about learning about themselves. Twin flames, when they come into union, already know who they are. They already know what they like. They already know who they are they're already whole they don't need to discover themselves anymore what they need to do is discover their union with god and what the mission is and how these new vibrations merge and work as one body in two different um in, in a one body with uh, the same soul right uh spirits bringing up you know with my twin and i he was able to see through my eyes you guys that doesn't happen with karmic or high level soul level connections because it's the same frequency you're able to embody and go into the other person's body and see through them okay that doesn't happen with soul connections i've never had i've had telepathy with other soul connections i've had uh energy with other soul connections dream state with other connections the difference with soul with twin flames is that you're able to go inside of their body and see through them and experience exactly how they're experiencing that's next level stuff go at to go tell me if other twins experience that okay um <laughs> I, I i really don't even know if they do um and that's not even from being intimate that's just from sitting beside each other that's the potency of twins but the high level soulmates are bringing people and trusting um and teaching people how to you know live harmoniously and heal in a very sacred place together before and prepping them for their soul's journey to merge with their twin either in this life or another life Okay, so that is the rest of this. I, I think that's enough. I wanted to bring that through for you guys. I'm going to go and do the horoscope zodiac readings. I'm super excited about that. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to be putting out more content this week. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Would love to hear what you thought of this. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Take care. Bye, guys.